Hi, my name is Asaf, and welcome to Cookies with a Club Member. How is it running the Ed Sullivan Show? <laughs> well, the Ed Sullivan Show is um, not on TV, but uh, we do a lot in West Springfield, and I try to help out under, you know, my name and at the paper company, which is Sullivan Paper Company. What got you into making into the paper making business? Okay, so what we do at Sullivan Paper Company, we're called a paper converter. So we don't actually make paper, but we add value to it by printing it and coating it, and we sell wrapping paper. Did you ever play any of the game boards like Shoots and Ladders or Monopoly, those games? We make the paper that goes on the back of the game board. Oh. And then we also do decorative papers for the candy industry and the cosmetic industry. So that's where we, it's all printed right here in West Springfield. And it goes actually all over the world. Do you recycle paper? Ah, uh -huh, we're big recyclers. We recycle everything. We recycle paper, we recycle metals. Actually, I just came from my uh, metal recycling yard before I came here, that's why I'm dressed like this. Um, we uh, recycle plastics, we don't use a lot of plastics, but whatever we do use, we recycle. We recycle just about anything that's possible, we recycle it. How did you get to start donating to the Boys and Girls Club? Well, it actually started a couple generations ago. Oh. My grandmother, my grandmother Elizabeth Sullivan, would come down and help out with, uh, you know, some of the funding. And if there was a little shortfall, she would um, uh, write a check and try to um, bring the uh, the funds up to where they were up to where they were needed, at least break even. And I think she started because she had nine children, and she knew the importance of uh, boys and girls clubs. So from her leadership and guidance and being passionate, it went from my father's generation and now my generation. So I'm third generation here supporting the West Springfield Boys and Girls Club. What would you say a day, a day in your house was, is like? The day in my house? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually I'm very, very active. I get up, sometimes I go to the, the gym and work out, maybe swim or get on a stationary bike. Then I go to work. And then usually after work, I'll be involved in uh, a community meeting for something, whether it's for the Boys and Girls Club or the Redevelopment Authority. Or The cookies are from Calgary's Market. Thank you, by the way, for these delicious treats. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Outstanding. Is that peanut butter? Mmm. Could be. A three. Solid three. Solid three. Yeah. I'm going with a solid five. I'd be grateful if they made these from like the organic thing, like the organic cookies, to, so that you can enjoy your favorite treats and also um and also not get not gain no gaining no gaining calories. So Oh. Maybe like a vegan cookie or something. Yeah, like that. Vegan cookie. All right, that's interesting. I would like it with milk. <laughs> I'm a big dunker in milk, so. Mm. Well, Ed, do you have any advice for me? Um, actually, I do. So it's really important that, um, there are two things. Really important to pay attention in school. School is really important. That's gonna help you all through life, everything you learn. So uh, the other thing is, if you have an opportunity to try something that's positive, uh, take advantage of it. I think we I think we can wrap up. What do you, what do you think, Ed? Uh, I think that's great. I appreciate you having me in. Hopefully, uh, um, I was able to answer your questions, and I think we actually learned something. We each learned something from each other, so I believe that's great. So I appreciate you inviting me in. So, yeah. and then I'm gonna just so you know, I'm gonna take this cookie with me. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna ask for it. <laughs> you can take the it. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> One more bite before we go. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm.